From the mind of Mark Yoshimoto Nemkov. So Perfect Premium gave me the idea to do some just audio-only content. And uh, I thought today would be a perfect day for it. Because I just don't feel like putting the camera on. So, <laughs> um, I have to tell you something. I am truly, truly, truly disappointed to have to report to you that the Bach microphones <laughs> are, are going to be held off until July. Uh, not held off, but they're going to not be available until July. That's what I'm hearing now. July. <laughs> That's okay. Now, again, I, I don't think I'm telling anybody anything they don't already know. But, but these mics are insanely late. I mean, come on. <laughs> they were supposed to come out in the fall, right? Promised last NAM. We are already we are already on the cusp of the next NAM. So Universal Audio is uh, they're unable to uh, deliver these microphones apparently until July, and I'm I'm hoping I'm wrong. I'm hoping I'm wrong. Um, I I did not pre-order one, but if anyone has, you you have my deepest sympathy, because uh, you've been played, man. I mean, I got to tell you. The, the whole idea of them acquiring Bach microphones and putting out a, a line of professional quality microphones. Now, you know, their offerings so far in terms of microphones have, have definitely been a content creator, prosumer at best. So here I am thinking, Bach microphones, this is going to be amazing. And then, you know, I don't know. Somewhere in the ensuing uh, drama of everything that's gone on, and the, I mean, I'm just in general, like with basically the delays and this ugly color they're putting on these microphones to make them different, this California pastel bullshit. Um, and just, just, there's nothing exciting about these microphones. There's nothing compelling me to say, Oh my God, I'm, I'm heartbroken that these microphones aren't coming out now. I, I have my pre-order in. When's my microphone coming? No, I don't give a shit. Because you know what? They have not done anything to make me care about these microphones. I mean, look, if they come out and they sound great, I don't care. I've just gotten to that point where it doesn't matter. Because I'm not going to buy I'm not going to buy the, the 251. I'm not going to buy the 167, right? I'm not going to buy a tube mic for what I do. Maybe the 187, I'd consider it. But it doesn't excite me, right? It's just basically a rebadged U91, uh, Sound Deluxe U9, U195. U195. And uh, so what? You know, there's nothing about this that is making me jump up and down and say, why, why, why? I'm just kind of laughing at it now. I'm at the point where I'm amused by what a debacle this has been. And look, you know that I'm a, a UA fan. And, you know, I, 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 I make my living with the UA stuff, right? So, I mean, I love this stuff. But I'm getting to the point where I just feel like I, I, I'm, I'm hesitant to jump into whatever comes next. I'm, I'm sitting here and I'm thinking to myself, self, what do you do when they announce new stuff? And of course, reaction A is to grab my Sweetwater credit card and call up Jimmy Deals and be like, dude, Hook me up. Right? That would be my natural inclination. But I'm starting to think that I want to sit this one out. Now, if UAD3 comes out, how does that help me? I'm already capable of creating a, a really great work product. How is it going to help me? A better converter? Is that really going to be that much more important in the long run? Maybe, I don't know. 
But is it worth jumping in now? I don't know. Because, look, if you, if you've been on the, <laughs> if you've been on the technology roller coaster for a while, you are probably one of many people like myself who feels like they have been beta testing other companies' products for decades. I mean, I remember, I remember how excited I was to get a 9600 baud modem, a dial-up modem, to get into my AOL, jumping up from my 2400 bit, <laughs> 2400 baud modem that came with my computer, whatever that was, the Mac SE or something like that. So I am, I feel like every step of the way, I am always the person who is jumping in to buy the first generation stuff. You know, I bought a first generation iPhone when it came out. I paid, well, I forget what it was, but it was, it was like $500 or something like that. It was stupid. And um, if I could find it somewhere, maybe I could sell it. Maybe it's worth something, but who cares? Right? The whole point is, you know what? I, I am thinking that I'm going to sit this one out. I, I really want to sit this one out. Unless there is a completely overwhelming reason to jump in. If my, if my career required it, then I would do it. But you know what? I'm really thinking I don't need it. I don't need it. Whatever it is, I probably I probably don't need it. Let me let me qualify it. I probably don't need it. And let this be our mantra. Because I'm starting to think that a lot of this buying stuff, right? Is procrastination. And look, experimentation, but I think a lot of it is procrastination. And I really I really want to. I feel like in the last year even though I've been an Apollo user for many years, I feel like in the last year, and this, this in large part is thanks to all of you listening who comment and help me shape my sound. You know, because y- you listening to this right now, right, is important to me. And how you have commented and, uh, you know, basically given me your opinions on stuff over the last year has been extremely helpful for me, right? So quite honestly, I think that why do I need it? Do I need it? I don't know. I don't think so. So this is the question. Do I need it? And that's a question I'm going to ask myself a lot more in the future. Because you know what? It is part of this energy in me to want to just reach out in all directions and grab all this stuff and kind of bring it in and and try it but at some point again i i think i think i found a home with what i have here is there any way to make it better do i have to make it better if i stop focusing on making it better do i then take this energy and focus on making me better, right? Assassination. I need to know, what are you thinking? Are you waiting for a Bach mic? Because if so, you do have my sympathy. Are you thinking about buying whatever comes next? Are you chomping at the bit, holding your credit card, just waiting, waiting for that NAM announcement? <sighs> yeah, I'll tell you, NAM is a tough time of year, especially when you're thinking, how much is it going to cost me? <laughs> All right, you know what to do. Leave a comment. Until next time, this is Mark Yoshimoto Nemkov on the Assassin Microphone, fading to black. <laughs>